can uh, improve the, the way your enzymes work by eating enzyme-rich food, sprouts, fresh vegetables, vegetable juices. Love veggie juices. You got to drink them fresh. And you don't need anything fancy. Not V8 I'm ta- talking about here. I'm talking about making your own veggie juices. And you don't need anything fancy. Just a ninja, one of those ninja machines or, or a Vitamix where you just drop some celery and some beet in a, with some water and some salt and spices. Boom. You got a delicious veggie juice. And if you heat it up, you got a veggie soup. So that's another so thing to do. Celery beets, um, what other? I, no, I, I don't even want to tell well. you because I want you to do it yourself. But personally, what I like to do is celery. I, combinations can be very interesting. So I always combine celery with cucumber because celery has a little edge to it, a little bitter edge to it. And cucumber has a little sweetness to it. And the cucumber balances out the sweetness. And then if I throw a little half a tomato in, I find that it, the, the acid from the tomato has a neutralizing effect on some of the bitter flavor as well. So between tomato Tomato, cu- and you have, to, you have to see where you like. You know, everybody's got their own taste. It's between tomato, cucumber, celery, and then I, I like to put a little beet in there because a little sweetness. Uh, between those three or four veggies, you can have great veggie juice. And always use salt and spices, as I say, and water. Super important for the digestive tract. It's filling. It'll, it's a great diet, a great way to lose weight. And the flavors from the spices and the salt are super delicious. You know, salt is very energizing, especially if you're low salt. And then there, there's the brain connection. B vitamins are your brain vitamins. Think B for brain. B for building, B for brain. They're your building vitamins and they're your brain vitamins. Uh, B vitamins deficiency is extremely common because we urinate them out. And they haven't talked about, uh, we were talking about calcium excretion with Invokana. You may lose your B vitamins with that stuff too, just as an aside. That's a little digression there. That's not for you, Melody. So uh, mm-hmm. bre- uh, B vitamins, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, keep him on that. Maybe double his dose. See how he does with the double dose. Go functional. Functional dosing is when you take as much as you need. That means if you take, say, a teaspoonful in water and you notice great results, and then you do a teaspoon and a half in water and you notice even better results, and then you do two teaspoonfuls in water and you notice still better results, and then you notice you do two and a half teaspoonfuls in water and you notice less results or no difference, you'll know that you need to be at right around that two teaspoon two teaspoonfuls per bottle of water area. It's called functional dosing. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense, Melody? Keep yeah, upping? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, good. Yeah, Do function. And one other thing. What about the EFAs? Because I, yeah, I was about to say. Have like, yeah. I was about to tell I you. know how much he needs for that. Absolutely. I was about to tell you. So B vitamins and then don't, vitamin C probably will help in the electrolytes. You'll get those from the veggies. But then there's the whole fat component. And, uh, and that's the fatty vitamins. And that's essential fatty acid. Vitamin E is a brain vitamin, in addition to being other things, too. But it's a brain vitamin. But the brain's a fatty organ. So vitamin E protects the brain. We talked about it earlier for Alzheimer's, or last week, I should say, for Alzheimer's. But also for for autism, for other brain issues. And then uh, omega fats, absolutely indispensable. And vitamin A, also very important. Vitamin D and vitamin K, don't don't, um, ignore them. But especially vitamin E, vitamin A, and essential fatty acids, omega-3 especially. Especially. So that's your ultimate EFAs. You're just your healthy star pack. Throw in the, the nightly essence as well as the Fucoid Z, perhaps the ultimate enzymes, and then the uh, ancillary nutrients like the E and the A that we just talked about, uh, and then the whole dietary thing with the juices and, and, uh, and uh, elimination diet. I want to take a couple okay. more calls here, Melody. Just, Thank just you so much. Question. Okay. Yeah? Just a quick question. How much are the vitamin E and the A? 400 IU on the vitamin E. 20,000 IU on the vitamin A is where I recommend you be. Okay, super. Thank you. Thanks, Melody. Bye. Uh-huh. All right. Bye. Jennifer in Texas, welcome to the bright side. Jennifer? We have Jennifer. And some problems with our phones here. Jennifer. Okay. Well, if you're there, Jennifer. All right, I'm going to let you, I, I, Jennifer, I can't hear you. I don't know if you're talking to me, but uh, I don't have any calls, so call back. If Try again. Jennifer? Jennifer's gone. All right. Well, that's it. If you're, if, uh, hey, Jennifer, if you're, if you're listening to the program, call back because I got some, uh, I got uh, no calls and I got a couple, couple minutes. But I do want to read some letters. I've been getting a lot, a lot of letters from Doc Wallach's appearance on the bright side. Uh, Dr. Wallach and Dr. I'm sorry, on uh, Coast to Coast. Doc, I should have Dr. Wallach on, on uh, the bright side. But uh, he was on Coast to Coast last week. We get tons of letters every time uh, Doc goes on or Dr. Glidden goes on or I go on. Uh, George Norrie. So let me get to a couple of these letters if, if you guys are listening. Got one from, uh, this one is from uh, We Told. I think he says his name. He says he's a coast-to-coast insider. Uh, he says his problem is varicose veins. 
started a long time ago, got worse during pregnancy. Here's a deal with varicose veins. I get this question a lot. Varicose veins are hemorrhoids of the legs. Legs are uh, hemorrhoids or varicose veins of the anal muscle. So you get, they're the same idea. They're, they're caused by clogging. They're caused by a backing up. If you have varicose veins, you got a digestive issue that involves clogging and backing up. And this notion of clogging is a generic way the body breaks down. Clogging always precedes degenerative disease. So varicose veins and hemorrhoids are signals that your body is starting to clog up. If you have them in conjunction with a chronic degenerative disease, that's great news because it means by moving, by moving uh, the body around, improving circulation, you're going to eliminate and reduce, anyway, the symptoms of your chronic degenerative disease. And it's great that you can wear pressure stockings and, and do the mechanical things, but really what you want to think about is why is the blood clogged in the first place? Clogged blood always needs to be backtracked first and foremost to the digestive system, and that means the food diary, and that means eliminating problem foods, and that means all the things we just talked about in terms of supporting the health of the bacteria in the intestine, fiber, as well as vegetables, ground-up vegetables, vegetable juices, and then, of course, probiotics. Now, moving the body around is also important, and uh, Whitold says that uh, her, his friend with the varicose veins is physically active, but you, don't, you never know how physically active is active. Personally, I like a rebounder. A rebounder is awesome because you jump up and down and it doesn't put, put any stress on the body. A lot of times we don't do the exercises we need to do because it, it puts a heavy stress on the joints. And so it's uncomfortable or it causes pain later on down the road or infl inflammation down the road. But a rebounder allows you to bypass all of that. And so does an inversion device, uh, one of those hanging devices. They're a little bit more complicated, of course, but they are really, really effective. If you're dealing with any heart disease problems, if you're dealing with any blood pressure problems in conjunction with your varicose vein issues, guaranteed you've got a blood uh, circulation problem, but also probably you have an oxygenation issue. And that's where your deep breathing techniques come in. It sounds weird, right? Deep breathing for hemorrhoids, deep breathing for varicose veins. But when you understand the mechanism of clotting, clogging blood, it makes perfect sense. So practicing deep breathing techniques is also important. Eliminating problem foods, practicing your deep breathing techniques is all for varicose veins and hemorrhoids. And then uh, using probiotics and fermented foods. And then, of course, making sure you're on the healthy start pack to get your 90 essential nutrients, which are the baseline, the minimum wage, the basics that everybody needs, no matter what your health challenge is, even even if you don't have a health challenge, you can find out all about it at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. If you want to check out our truth treatment products, you can check out truthtreatments.com. Thanks for listening, friends. Have an awesome, beautiful, spectacular, wonderful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.